Okay, so we had this gorgeous TR7 slash 8 dropped off to us uh, at the end of last week. So we're just going to conduct our preliminary road test before we start working on it. It's currently fitted with a 3.5 with a uh, Offy 360 and a Holly 390, which as you all know, following our Facebook page, is not our... Ooh, that not our carburetor of choice, and that's why, because of the um, incredibly poor driving experience. Not getting the throttle response we should be getting. Car drives incredibly well though in terms of smoothness on the road. There's no nasty clunks or clangs, which is why we do these road tests initially. Mind the cyclists. This vehicle's come in is for one of our 3.9 engines. Um, the reason for that is because it's actually got quite a nasty tap when the engine gets warm, which the customer obviously isn't happy with. And this engine's been in here quite a few years. Uh, supposedly was rebuilt, um, but he's always had issues with it. And he wants a fresh start with an RPI full build. And uh, from past experiences of our engines, I can't blame him. Put the sun there. We're missing handsome Steve behind the camera today. He's on holiday, so we've got workshop Steve. Oh, you're also known as Chocolate Steve. You can speak, you know. No, doesn't want to. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, delay in throttle response on this carburetor. I'm sure there'll be people that will comment, well, you could tune it and set it up different. Yeah, you could tune it, but then you'd lose power elsewhere and uh, you'll never get 100% of what you want for a road car out of one of these carburetors. That's why we choose the Weber slash Edelbrock 500 CFM carburetor all the time. We don't even stock Hollies. Apart from one that builds engines. Yeah, we, we stock one Holly, a Holly that builds engines. So I think that pretty much concludes this road test. We'll do a little bit of a walk around the car when we get back to the workshop to show you how lovely it is. And then you'll see for our Facebook page and YouTube channel the uh, progress. So here we are back at uh, RPI Engineering headquarters. And here is the TR7 we've just been out in with the Rover V8 engine fitted. As you can see, it is immaculate. Incredibly well looked after. And under the bonnet is just as clean. I'm sure the guys in the workshop will love working on this. They'll be able to, uh, they won't have to wash their hands before having their dinner, I reckon. Obviously, you'll be getting a full RPI ignition system with the RPI amplifier. That Offy 360 will be replaced with the uh, Offy JWR that we do, which is obviously a dual port, which will improve torque and efficiency down the bottom end of the rev range. And a nice, freshly built RPI Engineering 3.9 litre engine. So if you're interested in this and all the other projects we do, keep following us on Facebook. Cheers. For our next video, we find out what's in Steve's drawers. Stay tuned for more.